Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today in this tutorial we learn about exercise 9.1 class 11th. If you like it please subscribe and like my channel. So let's start. First we have in exercise 9.1 which is trigonometry. Now we start the chapter name which is Fundamentals of Trigonometry. First we know the introduction of trigonometry which is trigonometry is an important branch of mathematics. The word trigonometry has been tried from the Greek word try three goning angles and method measurements. Literally it means measurements of triangle. So we have the further study we know that the circular system and the decimal system which is degree, minute and second. So we have the first question which is express the following sexagesimal measure of angles in radians. So we have in degree we convert into the radian. First we know that what is sexagesimal. So It is mixture of three words which is minute, second, or degree, minute, and second, which is called sexagesimal. So, first we have expressed the following sexagesimal measures angle in radius. When we convert degree into radian, we multiply pi by 180 and when we convert radian into degree, we multiply with 180 by pi. So in the same case, first we have exercise 9.1 which is the question 120 degree. So we convert degree into the radian, multiply with pi by 180. So we have 120 multiply pi by 180 degree. We have getting which is 2918 and 2612 3 and 2 so we have the required answer which is 2 pi by 3 next question which is 35 degree and 20 minute so this is the sign of degree This sign is minute and this sign is second. So degree minute which is 60 and second which is 60 multiply 60. So we have 35 degree and 20 second. First we write 35 and plus 20 as it is and minute which is equal to divide by 60. In any case when we have that degree and in next term we have second or minute with in the mid we have right plus and then the sign of minute or second into the divide form so 25 plus 20 divided by 60 degree we, we first solve it and then we convert degree into the radius so 35 which is 35 plus 1 by 3 degree and 35 into 3 so taking LCM we have 35 into 3 which is equal to 70 105 plus 1 which is equal to 106 over 3 
so we convert degree into radian we multiply with pi by 180 degree so we have Two nine eighteen and two five ten two six. We have ninety and fifty three. So we multiply three multiply ninety, which is equal to two seventy and fifty three divided by two seventy, which is equal to. So this is the required answer. First we have convert that thirty five degree or twenty second into degree form, and then we convert degree into the radian. So we multiply with pi by one eighty, and then we have the required answer, which is fifty three pi over two seventy. Next question, which is. Seventy-five degree six minute and thirty second. So first we write seventy-five plus six minute, which is sixty degree plus thirty, and second which is equal to sixty multiplied sixty four degree. Seventy-five plus six minute, which is equal to sixty. And seventy, which is equal to thirty-six hundred. So we have seventy-five plus one by ten plus one by one twenty four degree. So taking LCM, we have. One twenty and ten. We have six five and so six multiply five into two into two. So we have one twenty is the LCM. So one twenty multiply seventy five, which is equal to nine hundred. Plus ten one twenty divided by ten, which is equal to twelve plus one. So we take as we have nine hundred plus twelve, which is equal to nine twelve plus one. So nine thirteen into one twenty whole degree. We convert degree into the radian. Multiply with pi by one eighty. So we have nine thirteen divided by one. Eighty. We have nine thirteen pi over one twenty multiply one eighty, which is equal to two one six double zero. So this is the required answer of this nine thirteen pi over two one six hundred. First we have seventy five degree six minute and thirty second. So we write seventy five plus six minute into sixty divided plus thirty and second into sixty multiplied sixty. When we convert into degree with degree into the radian, so we multiply with pi by one eighty and the required answer is. Nine and D by over two one six hundred. The next question which is convert the following radian into degree. So we have nine pi by five. So we have convert radian into the degree. So we multiply with one eighty by pi. So nine pi over five multiply one eighty by five. Five pi cancel out. We have fifteen. So 
वी मल्टीप्लाई नाइन मल्टीप्लाई थर्टी सिक्स विच इज इक्वल टू पी ट्वेंटी फोर डिग्री द नेक्स्ट विच इज नाइनटीन फाइव और थर्टी टू सो वी मल्टीप्लाई नाइनटीन फाइव थर्टी टू इंटू वन एटी बाय फाइव 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 कैंसल अब वी हैव वी हैव नाइनटीन मल्टीप्लाई फोर्टी फाइव विच इज इक्वल टू एट फिफ्टी फाइव अवर एट एंड रिफर्ड ऑन दी वन जीरो सिक्स पॉइंट सेवन फाइव डिग्री so when we convert degree into the radian we multiply with pi by 180 and when we convert radian into degree we multiply 180 by pi in the next question we have find theta when What is the value? Find theta when l is equal to one point five, r is equal to two point five centimeter. We know the relationship between. We know. L is equal to r theta, so we find theta which is L by r. So we only put the value which is one point five divided by two point five is equal to theta. So one point five over two point five is equal to zero point six theta. First we know that the relationship between L is equal to r theta. So we find theta which is L over R. We put the value which is one point five divided by two point five, which is equal to zero point six radians. Zero point six rad. Next question we have. Find L when theta is equal to pi radian, r is equal to six centimeter. So we know that L is equal to r theta, so L pi into six. So the required answer is six pi. The next question is: Find R when L is equal to five centimeter and theta is equal to one by two radian. So we have L is equal to R theta. R is equal to L over theta. So put the value which is five over one by two radian. Centimeter over r. So we have one by two rad. <coughs> five one divided by two, which is zero point five, and five divided by zero point five, which is equal to ten. So the ten centimeter is the required answer of r. First, we find value of theta when we have one. L is equal to one point five centimeter and R is equal to two point five. We know the relationship between L is equal to R theta, so we have L over R is equal to theta. Putting the values, so we have theta which is equal to zero point six rad. In the next question, we have find L when theta is equal to pi radian and R is equal to six centimeter. We again use the relationship between L is equal to R theta, so we only put the values and the required answer is six pi. Next question: Find R when L is equal to five centimeter and theta is equal to one by two radian. 
So we know the relationship between L is equal to R theta R and we find R so we have L divided by theta and phi 1 by 2 centimeter right is equal to R so we have the required answer which is 10 centimeter radius. So this is the questions of exercise 9.1 which we do in this lecture. I hope that you understand these questions. So inshallah we we'll see in the next video. Allah Hafiz.